All right, so I feel like we're all friends now at this point. Um, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. One, I am violently hungover. I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck. Two, I do have waffle fries and chicken nuggets on my shirt. And I'm really looking forward to getting some Chick-fil-A. Three, I was so wrong about Illinois. Everyone can line up and kick me in the ass um, because I deserve it. So let's talk about the Sweet 16. Let's pull up the old FanDuel Sportsbook app and see what the lines are looking like. Oregon State, Loyola, Chicago. Oregon State's catching six and a half. Um, shout out to Cameron Kurtwig for ruining my life and my bracket. You, sir, are an absolute animal and belong on the basketball court. However, I think I'm gonna lean the Beavers here because they have won their last four outright as dogs. And I'm thinking that Loyola Chicago played their absolute best game against Illinois. So I'm gonna go ahead and lean the Beavers plus the six and a half. Next we have Nova and Baylor. Um, Nova's catching six and a half and I'm not as interested in this dog. Um, respect to Jay Wright because he's extremely handsome. Um, and he's a great coach, obviously. Um, but Baylor has been an absolute unit, like has been rolling people. They look like they are out there playing so cohesively. Uh, I think they forced nine turnovers in the first half of that Wisconsin game. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lean the Baylor Bears here because I feel like, kind of like the Zags, they are just on a roll and are going to be so extremely hard to stop. Um, but it is March, anything can happen, but sorry, Jay Wright, without Gillespie, I don't see you getting it done here. Next, we have Oral Roberts and Arkansas, and Oral Roberts is catching 11 and a half. So I would like to speak on behalf of America and say that we have all fallen in love with Oral. Yes, Oral Roberts has been an absolute force, and they are catching 11 and a half in the Sweet 16 spot um, against Arkansas. And look, SEC girl, however, I am riding this Oral Roberts train until it gets me to the station. 11 and a half, are you kidding me? These guys are so ready to play. Respect Arkansas, but these dogs are barking in March. So next we have Creighton and the Zags. Creighton is catching 13 and a half. Um, I watched this Zags team play the other day and I thought I was watching like the Harlem Globetrotters. Is there a pass or a shot or a move that these guys cannot do. They are absolutely rolling people and I think that they might dog walk Creighton. Like I don't I don't foresee them being able to, to keep it with the 13 and a half. Next we're looking at Florida State and Michigan. Florida State is catching three. Um, so obviously Michigan um, coming from the Big Ten, the Big Ten has kind of been exposed. Uh, Michigan, obviously beat my LSU Tigers. So uh, there's some talent out of the Big Ten. However, I think that Florida State is really going to give this Michigan team some issues. They're gonna force them to make shots. They're gonna make them uncomfortable. Uh, I think that Florida State will dominate the glass. So I am really leaning Florida State here, catching the points. Next one we have is Oregon USC and Oregon is catching one. Um, it's an interesting one because USC and Oregon have already faced off once this year and USC has come out <clears throat> victorious. So not only is this a revenge game for the Ducks, it's an advance or die game. So guess what? I'm going with the Ducks and I'm taking them on the money line. So the last game we have is UCLA Bama. UCLA is catching five and a half. Um, so the SEC girl in me obviously wants to say roll tide. Um, but you know what I like better than the SEC? Money. And you know what has been money this entire tournament? The Pac-12. And yes, I know Alabama played an amazing game the other day. However, five and a half is a lot of points. All right, y'all, that's all I got for this week. That is your breakdown of the Sweet 16. And hopefully I am on the right side of some of those games. Best of luck. I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A and let's make some money.